By default, every member stack project is in test mode as soon as it is created and until it is put into live mode. Let's say you've built everything in Webflow and you're ready to go. You just want to make it live. The first thing that you're going to need to do is pay for member stack. So if you go to your settings and then billing, you can select which plan is best for you. There's also a calculator on our pricing page and a nice explanation from Duncan here, which will help explain things a little bit more. Once you have paid, then switching live is very easy. Everything will carry over from test mode to live mode. The only thing to keep in mind is that one, test mode members will not work on the live site. It is totally different. And the other thing is API keys. So if you're using something like make.com, Zapier, or anything that you've connected your API keys, as you can see here, test mode API keys are, well, for test mode. And when you switch into live mode, anywhere that you've used your test keys, you are going to need to replace them or it is not going to work. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, the only other thing you're going to need to do is set up your domain. So over here in the settings, what you can do just to make sure that member stack is only going to work on your site, nobody else's is in the settings down here, you can see application domains. And what you're going to want to do is add two. The first one should be your testing domain, the Webflow subdomain that you've been using the entire time. Keep it on test mode and select yes. Then you're going to want to get the live domain that real members are going to be using. You're going to want to paste that in here, select live mode and confirm. So if you've done all of those things, then you should have successfully launched a fully live member stack site.